How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Syracuse Aviation and welcome back to another airport update. Today's airport update brings you the first ever update on the Syracuse Aviation channel of Southwest Florida Fort Myers International Airport. So this is an airport I've been hoping to do for a couple of months now, or actually quite a few months ever since I was there in December. Um, ever since I went there I just had a little thing for the airport. I really liked it. It's a really nice airport. There's a lot of variety in terms of airlines, destinations, and overall it's just a really nice place to be at, a very nice airport. Um, just all around just a really really cool uh, airport so that's why I decided to do it it will be monthly updates uh, on this channel so I'm very excited um, so let's get started starting today's update for us here at gate B7 we have this Frontier Airlines Airbus A320 with Sharklets in the Griswold the Bear livery this is November 227 FR once again at gate B7 here he's on the turn on flight to Denver Frontier has a whole handful of various destinations out of Fort Myers. This is the airline I flew down to Fort Myers um, on an A320 with Sharklets as well. So very cool to be able to represent that here. Um, it's kind of giving me some good memories of that flight. So regardless, very nice to see Frontier here at Fort Myers with a whole boatload of various destinations. So looking very good here. So next up, getting into the Southwest Airlines section here at gate B8, we have this Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Maryland 1 livery. This aircraft is on the turn on flight to Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. Next up here at gate B6, we have the Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 once again. This one is fitted with split scimitars and is wearing the Canyon Blue livery. This aircraft is currently getting passengers boarded and he's on the turn on flight to Baltimore BWI. Next up at gate B4 is the Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-800 with split scimitar winglets and the Freedom 1 livery. This aircraft is on the turn on flight to Nashville. The last aircraft for the Southwest section here at Fort Myers is the Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Hart livery with split scimitar winglets. This aircraft is on the turn on flight to Chicago Midway. Getting into the Seagates now at Fort Myers, starting off with a United Airlines Boeing 737-900 in the EVA Blue livery. This is at gate C5. This aircraft is currently on the turn on flight to Chicago O'Hare. Um, most of United's operations out of Fort Myers are on Max 8s, Max 9s, A319s, and A320s from what it looks like. Um, I don't know if this is just a one-off substitution, but I saw it on the schedule, so I figured I would make use of it. Unfortunately, I don't have any other United aircraft that would fit the Fort Myers schedule at the moment. I'm looking to probably uh, get a hold of some soon. Maybe NG will do some Max aircraft. It sounds like they said they were going to at some point, so... I'm going to try and wait for those because I'm not a huge fan of the Gemini mold, but if I have to, I'll, I'll definitely get one. It's not the worst thing in the world. So, I remember seeing a bunch of 752s in the schedule a few months ago. That's why I got the NG752. Um, so, it's very unfortunate to see that those aren't here anymore, but maybe they'll come back at some point. You guys know how United's mainline is at this point. It's extremely inconsistent. So, we can hope for the best and hope that they'll come back to Fort Myers. But that would be a, a really nice thing. So, for today, we just have one United aircraft. Once again, at gate C5, the United Airlines Boeing 737-900 in the Evil Blue livery on the turn on flight to Chicago O'Hare. Getting into the Delta section now, starting at gate C9, we have a Delta Airlines Boeing 737-900. This aircraft is on the turn on flight to Minneapolis-St. Paul. Next up at gate C8 is a Delta Airlines Boeing 737-900 once again. This aircraft is on the turn on flight to Detroit. Next up, we have November 703 Tango Whiskey. This is a Generation 1 Delta 757-200 with winglets. This aircraft is on the turn-on flight to Atlanta. The next aircraft at gate C4 is pretty much the same thing as the last one. It's another Delta 752 heading out to Atlanta. Fort Myers has an absolutely absurd amount of 752s um, with service to Atlanta. Um, it's, a, it's a really cool thing to see, though. Um, definitely not complaining. Um... There may be as many as three of these flights on the ground at once, which is absolutely crazy. Um, so I, I don't have an exact number for how many flights a day they have to Atlanta, but it looks like they're all on the, the 752, which is really awesome. So that's why I have two in the update, just because I figured it'd be really cool to represent them. So once again, this 752 heading out to Atlanta. The last Delta Airlines aircraft for today's update here at gate C2 is this Delta Airlines Boeing 737-800. This aircraft will be heading out to Cincinnati. This is one of those routes that's just very interesting because you wouldn't imagine Delta or any airline operating um, this kind of service, or at least the major carriers, maybe Frontier, someone would make more sense. But Delta, um, usually serving airports like this for more of their hub airports, 
is usually what they do. I guess Cincinnati used to be um, a pretty decent-sized airport for Delta Airlines back in the day. I'm guessing this is one of those routes that maybe just performed really well, and they haven't let go since the hub um, status of that airport has since been um, gone. So I'm, I'm assuming that that's probably why this is still a operating flight. So once again, the Delta 738 uh, heading out to Cincinnati. Getting into the D gates now, we have an American Airlines Boeing 737-800 at gate D3. This aircraft is on the turn-on flight to Charlotte. Um, so this is the only American Airlines aircraft I have represented in today's update. Unfortunately, this is really the only one that I have aside from Astrojet and a bunch of regionals, which don't really fly here. So I'm going to have to make this work for now. I'm probably going to get another 738 at some point very soon, I hope. Uh, I might not, but I'm pretty likely to pick up another one because of Fort Myers now getting a bunch of 738s from various destinations, mainly just Charlotte and Dallas, um, plus A321s uh, coming in here quite often. So this will have to do for today. Once again, the American 738 at gate D3 heading out to Charlotte. Moving along to the next aircraft here at gate D7 is this Breeze Airways Airbus A22300. Breeze has pretty similar um, operations out of Fort Myers as what Syracuse does. They both have Charleston and Las Vegas. So, um, and it, they've also both had um, similar um, performances as well, I'll say. So it seems like um, Fort Myers, along with Syracuse, have both had a lot of delays and even cancellations. So that's very unfortunate to see that they're going through the same thing that Syracuse is. Breeze is just expanding too fast. I don't know what, what else to say. They need to focus on getting more aircraft and pilots hired and certified before they start expanding to more cities like this. So it is very cool to have them here, but I'm hoping that they just kind of get a grip and do everything they can to get these flights, um, hopefully to their destinations on time. So um, this aircraft here um, will be heading out to Las Vegas. Next up at gate D4, we have a JetBlue Airways Airbus A320 in the spotlight tail with fence tips. This aircraft, unfortunately, is the only JetBlue aircraft I have in today's update. Hopefully, uh, now with NG's new A320 mold, they'll be able to do some more JetBlue aircraft. That's that's a topic I'm going to be referencing a lot in the future, and you may have even noticed in the past I've talked about it a lot, um, is new molds from uh, manufacturers. There's just been a lot of models that haven't been released for a while, and some models that haven't been released at all that we really need to be released so that we have more variety and uh, can have more full airport updates. So... Hopefully this is one of those aircraft that um, NG models can make more of, or even Gemini has a decent mold for the, the IAE variant, which is what JetBlue operates for their fleet. So hopefully NG or Gemini, someone will make uh, more JetBlue A320s. Uh, even A321s would be nice. Maybe Gemini will do some E190s, E190s excuse me, as those also fly into Fort Myers. So uh, this aircraft today, once again, the JetBlue A320 and the Spotlight Tail with fence tips is on the turn-on flight to New York LaGuardia. The last aircraft for today's update here at gate D2 is the Spirit Airlines Airbus A320. Um, this particular flight, I believe, usually is at gate D4, but we had the JetBlue flight there at the current um, time, so unfortunately we had to bump this down to gate D2, which I think is typically where the A319 flights arrive into, as I'm looking here. Uh, Detroit and uh, Atlantic City are both on 319s. That appears to be the only routes along with Chicago O'Hare that Spirit has out of here, so... This particularly, uh, this flight here, the Spirit A320, will be heading out to Chicago O'Hare from gate D2. Uh, so that's pretty much it for uh, Fort Myers. So aside from the cargo stuff, which hopefully we can get done in the future, but that'll do it for the commercial operations. So that'll do it for today's Fort Myers update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are excited for all the future updates of this airport to come to the channel. Uh, I'm very excited myself. Hopefully I get better with the... Um, gate assignments, the airline destinations, frequencies, aircraft types, and all of that. Hopefully I can expand my model aircraft fleet even more to where I can start adding some more airlines into the airport that fly here that I missed this time. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed what I did have today. Um, it's going to be a work in progress like a lot of my other airports, but you've seen the progress with those hopefully. So I'm assuming, um, I'm, I'm pretty confident the same thing will be to come for Fort Myers. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's update. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.